Hey, I'm Julia from Radio.com. We are staying home. We are staying safe. And today we are joined by Katy Perry. How yeah. are you? Wait, I just noticed, is there a little flower on your shirt? It was supposed to be a surprise. Oh, look at you. <laughs> it is a good surprise. I was a surprise. Thanks. I was going through my closet, like looking for something to wear. I'm like, I can't not throw this on for this interview. Yeah, Julia. I love it. <laughs> Lean into the theme. I mean, you, you also look a little bit like Guns N' Roses. I have been saying this entire time, it's a root blocker. And I've been oh. saying I look like Brett Michaels. Yes, I, I mean, I'm doing this too. Look at my roots. What are these? This is like, what is this, two inches? Yeah, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. And right now it just looks like a lot of scarves. At least yours matches though. I'm, I'm all turbaned up for sure. <laughs> I'm like, add to cart turban, add to cart turban. <laughs> I've been doing the same thing. I placed an order like last week and like five of them came and I'm like, all right, this goes with this, this goes with that. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so new album, August 14th. The new single is Daisies. How are you feeling with all of it? Um, well, it's wild to release a record where you're usually kind of zipping all over the world and promoing and, you know, visiting every studio and a radio station and, um, it's, it's, it's a lot, but, uh, I am so down for a challenge. Um, I do have the variable of making a child right now as well. <laughs> so I'm really giving myself, I'm putting myself to task. I mean, mind you, I definitely lock myself in my parked car in front of my house and, uh, cry sometimes just like everyone else does. I think, uh, because it's funny. It's like being a businesswoman you usually and having a career like you would know you go to you go to work it's not an escape but it's somewhere you go and there's just nowhere to go i'm like in the corner of my bedroom right now yeah and it's a lot of people are like oh i've been killing it at a home i've been doing so well and i'm like how do you find how do you manage your day because like my fridge is here i got my pets like i i can't figure it out i mean yeah imagine people that have three kids too i mean i'm quarantining with my nieces who are three and six year old nieces and then I quarantine with um Orlando's son like every once in a while um because they have joint custody but it's it's a lot yeah it's um my friend said it best the other day she said anyone that is thriving uh anyone that's thriving in week nine of quarantine is a freaking psycho I was just gonna say a psychopath a psychopath. If you have abs right now and you didn't before quarantine, what is up? Well, actually, I'm turning into Shrek size-wise, <laughs> and Orlando is turning into the Hulk. That's not fair. It's fine. It's fine. You know, when the baby actually comes, he's gonna he's he's gonna have a little less time. Yeah, there you go. Um, are you somebody who works well under pressure, like with everything going on right now and having to release and promo this new album and this new record? I do. Um, and I, I guess I would say that, um, yes, in the past I have, but in the past I've all also been able to access, you know, a team of people and, and volley ideas and, you know, not have to compartmentalize every single thing and check it off a list. Like now, I mean, I'm getting really good at doing my own hair and makeup, but I'm doing my own hair and makeup. I'm doing my own styling. I'm doing my own ring lighting and other lighting and, you know, uh, doing a lot of the logistics behind the scenes and the, just like all the asks are still there and you usually go and fulfill them at the places, but now they're just on your turf, which is great. Cause this is my, this is my choice, right? To release a record rather than delay it. Um, and I'm excited that Daisies is the first single from it. And I think it's the best way to kick off this record. Cause this record actually I've been writing for about two years and um, I started writing it when I was like clinically depressed. And um, I definitely came out of that and now, you know, have a lot to celebrate and be grateful for, for sure. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm not going to die from all of this in intense emotion. Um, but I just channeled it through the songs and it seems really, uh, these songs that are coming this summer, starting with Daisies, they seem to fit maybe like the feeling now people are just searching for their silver lining of in all of this and 
Daisies actually is a song that I think took on a whole nof- whole nother meaning week nine of quarantine. It's basically a song, you know, that talks about going for your dreams, having no regrets and not listening to what the commentary or the people say about you having too big of a dream. And for us, we've had this time to reflect, right? Mm-hmm. And maybe, you know, in my own reflection, I've been like, well, I took this for granted. You know, I just thought that was always going to be available for me. And then when you have like your basic freedom stripped of you, you're, you're like, oh, wow. I mean, when I get the opportunity to go out and live, I'm going to live 2.0. Yeah. Dream 2.0. And uh, all the stuff that I kind of put on the back burner, or there's like a lyric in Daisies that says, um, you know, putting, putting about, putting all your dreams in a box in the attic. Um, It's like, you'll take all those out and you'll start fulfilling your life, basically. I love that. I was gonna ask why you chose this as the first single to kind of show forth what's to come. Is that just, do you feel like the whole messaging of being hopeful and everything kind of encompasses the whole new album? Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of hopefulness to it. I think 75% of the record coming is, about resilience and empowerment and inspiration and finding, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel or the silver lining, whatever you want to call it. Um, And, you know, I think I wanted to put it out this summer because I feel like we already want to dance in the streets. We already just want to like go out, have a couple of drinks and freaking dance with our friends until we can't anymore. All right. Well, paint the scene. Where do you want your fans to like be listening or like what activity would you imagine them doing to daisies? Oh, to daisies. You know, I guess I would say if you have the ability to go for a run, this is a song that's going to make you run and like breathe in all of the beauty around you. Um, It's a song that's going to make gonna give you the wingspan to ride your bicycle even better it's going to just like I don't know it just makes me so hopeful like yeah like I can it's an I can do it song and it's definitely a sister to firework and roar you know and oh I love that kind of those are like my sweet spots yeah I like into my I'm playing into who I am when you said that, like, I automatically pictured it on a playlist with Firework and Roar and Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine. Like, those, like, uplifting, like, songs that just kind of make you want to keep going with it, even sure. if you aren't necessarily a runner like myself. No, I'm not a runner either. My shins. <laughs> can't, can't, can't. My knees, I can't. But, you know, for me, like, one of my favorite things to do when I'm on tour and even now is ride my bicycle. And so I ride my bike everywhere and putting in headphones and listening to music. It's like this soundtrack that I'm seeing things and listening. It just, it's almost like my own little movie. Yeah. Um, Has there ever been like a dark time where music has been like a saving grace for you? And if so, like what were those songs in that moment for you? Oh yeah. I mean, growing up, especially in my teenage years when everything was really intense all the time, you know? Yeah. I think, like Ben Folds was probably really like Ben Folds 5 got me through a lot. Um, Alanis Morissette got me through a lot. Um, just uh, like Patty Griffin, Jonathan Brooke, uh, no doubt got me through a lot. Uh, kind of those early 2000s bands got they they like spoke my language yeah that's the thing is music is kind of the secret language that like you know you'll hear a song and you'll be like oh my god how are you defining my feelings right now so that's what music does it's a real magical thing um I know you did talk about the other day on twitter you know feeling thoughts of depression during this time like this how are you managing those feelings when they show up especially with being stuck in the house? Uh, well, I could say that, I mean, I know what I should do. I don't always do it. Like, I know I should meditate. I know I should talk to my therapist. I know, you know, 
look, I don't get the opportunity just to like have a glass of wine right now. If like, yeah. if I've like reached a certain like point of like, oh my God, this is way too much. I cannot handle this. I'll have a glass. So, you know, I have, the, it's, it's a real, it's a real, real time for me. It's like, feel all the feelings. Um, and, you know, I'm a planner. I'm a super planner. And in the past, I've been a perfectionist or slash control freak and all perfectionists slash control freaks are spiraling right now. Oh yeah. And planners, I mean, planners are spiraling. So I'm spiraling a little bit like every day, but I also, you know, I chalk it up to the uncertainty of being pregnant for the first time and having a child and, and not knowing, you know, Los Angeles just extended their stay at home till maybe August. And I was just like, okay, all right, I'm going to trust the professionals. I'm going to trust the professionals. Yeah. That's so unnerving. I'm sorry. No, it's, you know, there's going to be something really brilliant and beautiful that I'm going to learn from all this. That's the positive. And I have like, to be completely honest, I'm a workaholic. And so my plan was to work until like I was singing daisies and then my water breaks. Right. <laughs> so I think in a way, my silver lining is that I get to have a test run of balance before she comes and I won't be even more, more overwhelmed or I'll have figured out a routine, like a small, you know, living in the small, because it's so funny, Julia is like, people go, Oh, you've done this. You've done that accolades that. And I'm like, I, I literally don't know how to make three, three nourishing meals a day. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how to do it. I, I, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I think you're going to come out of this time and you're going to I mean, one, you'll be really resilient for it, for sure. I mean, you're we dealing with it. Yeah. And I mean, like you said, you know, you didn't know how to make three nourishing meals, but you're having this time to learn it, you know, before the baby comes. And had that not been the case and you were still promoing this album, what would you have time to? Well, I was relying on a lot of other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean... Yeah. I guess I just got to learn how to fund for myself, which is great. It does remind me of a time when I first started in like 2006 and seven and MySpace time. And like, <laughs> you know, when I was just like hustling and foaming at the mouth to prove it's a good feeling. It, it makes me feel young, but I'm tired. <laughs> Nobody is trying to go to a warp tour in 2020 and sweat their butt off. <laughs> oh, no, not right now. Just like all the other stuff that came along with it. I, yeah. mean, I think concerts are canceled for 2020. Yeah, they are. Um, what kind of personal growth have you noticed from back when you made uh, one of the boys to this new album coming out? Like musically, I would say. Uh, musically, I mean, a lot of personal, like spiritual and psychological growth, but... Um, Musically, I mean, I think I started in more of an alt world, um, kind of like pop punky pop alt. And I just have never put any limits on um, the kind of music I want to make sonically. So if it, it, it's, if it speaks to me and I, and I go, oh, I like that sound, something about that sound like moves me and I know exactly what to say because for me, it's all about lyrics and melody, and that's where I pull most of the songwriting weight. And I'll hear something, you know, like for instance, I, like back in the day when I listened to a little snippet of E.T. and it was meant for a hip hop group. And I was like, well, let me just take a stab at it, right? So I don't put like, I don't put barriers on my musical experimentation. And I think Witness was really experimentive and definitely was more electronic dance. And then this is, you know, this is a hybrid of, I think, everything I've done past four records. Yeah. Are you really excited about it? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I think it's, um, it's definitely me wearing my heart on my sleeve and, you know, it, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's going to be, I hope, I hope it's, it, I hope people embrace the songs for, as their own. That's all I care about. Yeah. They, they really uh, like it, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Um, how did Orlando like Daisies? It's his favorite song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever like catch him listening to it and you're not around? 
no, 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 he's not that guy. <laughs> um, he loves me just enough, but I am not one of your fans. Um, he is a great support, but yeah, this is his favorite song and he's excited for it to be coming out too. That's exciting. Um, so baby girl down the line when she's in like her 20s and she's back to thinking her parents are cool again uh what is that one song of yours late late 20s right right late 20s like we're talking 27 and up what is that one song of yours it can be one of your older ones or one of your newer ones that you like hope is her jam of mine yeah (laughs) well i mean let's be honest i'll probably write a record about her at some point so maybe it'll be the next one okay (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I hope my songs last far beyond me and my body. You yeah. Know? And I and I love when I get to sing Firework. You can tell that people love it, whether they're eight or 80, and they just kind of release. They just kind of have this, like, freedom together, and everybody feels like they're one. Yeah, uh, I work for B96, and you were at our Jingle Bash, and I wow. I saw you perform that, and it, it really does change, like, the environment. Like, everybody just has a smile on their face. They're totally engaged. Like, it's just, it's like happy medicine. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, we're so excited for Daisies and what's ahead for you. Um, And all right, well, keep watching for an exclusive performance from Katy Perry with Radio.com. That's right. I'm going to go and play right now. And hopefully you like it. And check out Daisies. And God bless you. Which songs are we going to hear? Some, you know, a couple of ones that you know. And Daisy. (laughs) Maybe you do, maybe you don't. We'll see. Okay. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for joining me on Radio.com Live. I'm about to sing... For the very first-ish time, kind of, Daisies, my new song from my forthcoming album that's out August 14th. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. I um, hope you like the song and hope it uh, means something special to you in, in maybe your own way and um, helps you find some inspiration to get you through the day. Since the days are crazy these days. Um, anyways, check it out. It's Daisies. You can find it everywhere, especially on the radio. Told them your dreams and they all started laughing. I guess you're out of your mind till it actually happens. Try to knock me down Took those sticks and stones Showed them I could build a house They tell me that I'm crazy But I'll never let them change me So they cover me in daisies Daisies, daisies They said I'm going
plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again do you ever feel feel so paper thin like a house of cards one blow from caving in do you ever feel already buried deep six feet under screens but no one seems to hear a thing do you know that there's still a chance for you cause there's a spark in you you just gotta Katy Perry, and welcome to my little session from home for Radio.com Live, where I'm going to sing three songs, some of them you may know, and one of them is absolutely brand new. It just came out. It's called Daisies. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's go with something that is fresh, that you might know from last year. God, looking back, last year was a good year. It's a great year. This is never really over. I'm losing my self-control. Yeah, you're starting to trickle back in. But I don't want to fall down the rabbit hole. Cross my heart, I won't do it again. I tell myself, tell myself, tell myself, draw the line. Do it.
It's over.